Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own beach decor, nautical fish shaped towel racks. Now these towel racks can be made in a variety of different sizes. Uh, they can be painted or stained to match your uh, decor. They're perfect for uh, waterfront or beach decor homes as well as uh, beach cabanas. They actually make a good towel rack as well as a coat hack. Very easy to make. You only need a few simple tools. So we're going to start with just a, a standard piece of pine. This is a 1x8 available in any lumber yard. We're going to cut out the basic shape of a fish, which I just drew onto that uh, piece of lumber. I'm going to use a bandsaw, but I've made a few of these, and I actually found it easier to cut these things out just with a jigsaw. You want to just cut out the whole outline of the, the fish that was drawn onto the piece of wood. This, only, this process only takes a few minutes. Once the outline is cut out, we're going to use a, a disc grinder with a, a flap sanding wheel. And we're going to use that to basically smooth out all of the rough cuts uh, from the saw, uh, as well as round over um, all of the edges of the fish to make it kind of smooth and round. And then we're going to also use that disc grinder uh, with that flap sanding wheel uh, to start to carve most of the detail into this fish. This sanding wheel uh, really removes a lot of material very quickly. You have to be careful with it. Um, but it allows you to carve these fish literally within a couple of minutes. I'm going to do this real time. I'm not going to edit the, the sanding portion at, at all. I'm going to use the sanding wheel to kind of um, sand away the fish away from the pectoral fins so that the pectoral fins kind of have a 3D effect. They stand out. I'm going to do it to both sides. You'll see in a minute. And then I'm going to continue towards the back of the fish, uh, smoothing out the tail section, rounding over the edges, etc. Just long, uh, nice, easy strokes. Wherever you see a hard line, you just kind of go back and, and smooth it. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this uh, sanding disc. I don't want to remove a tremendous amount of material. I'm just lightly, lightly sanding and shaping. I just find it's a, a really cool tool to use and allows me to do this, uh, this type of work. Uh, very quickly and very efficiently. So now I'm just kind of smoothing out the outline um, and then I'll start to round over the edges uh, on the tail of the fish. You know, once you do a, a couple of these things, uh, it really only takes two or three minutes uh, to sand uh, or to polish or to carve uh, these fish into shape with the disc grinder. Now, so once, once the fish is smooth and rounded over um, as desired, I'm going to continue with that disc grinder. I'm just going to make each one of the dorsal fins just a little bit thinner than the surrounding wood. The fins on fish are not very fat, they just, uh, they just stick up from the spine of the fish. And this is just going to give the visual illusion uh, of of pectoral fins. I'm also going to use the same disc grinder to create some detail or some notches on the, uh, the pectoral fin. And I'm going to also create some grooves. And this is all just adding a little bit of texture uh, to the fins. Very quick, very easy. I'll do the exact same uh, type of detail to the tail fin. I'll create some notches first and then I'll go back and create some grooves just to give the illusion of a, a thinner, narrower fin um, you know, with some, with some scales or with some uh, character or lines uh, in that tail. And I'm just arcing all of these uh, grooves towards the center point. We're almost done with the disc grinder more a couple more strokes and that's could be basically it I mean you really don't need much more than that you could drill a hole for the eye and create a mouth I like to add a little bit more detail and I do that with a Dremel grinder with a cutoff wheel 
and I'm going to use the Dremel grinder uh, to cut uh, just a straight line to the fish's mouth and then I'm going to also create some arc lines uh, to represent the gills. So I'll do, you know, you could do one or two or, or even three or four of these lines if you wanted. Whatever, whatever you think looks good for the particular uh, fish, the size of the fish that you're working on. Uh, using that same Dremel grinder, I'm going to add a couple of lines to each one of those uh, dorsal fins, uh, just to rep represent the spines. Any detail that you can add with this Dremel grinder just enhances the finished product. You, you certainly don't need to, but I'm going to go back and create some additional lines on that uh, lower pectoral fin. Only takes a couple of minutes, and it really does enhance um, you know, the overall finished product. Once all the, uh, the detail is in the fins, as well as the tail fin, uh, I use just a large drill bit, there. I think this one's three quarters of an inch, and I drill about halfway down through the wood, um, then I can, I can sand it, make it smooth. That's going to create the eye. In order to create, to create the hooks, I'm going to use a speed bore. This is a uh, 5 8 speed bore, and I'm going to drill holes at a slight angle. Um, I'm then going to insert a 5 8 dowel. Uh, you, you can buy these at Home Depot or any lumber yard. I cut them to about 3 or 4 inches, insert them into those uh, pre-drilled holes so that they're angled slightly upward, and they're secured in place just with a little wood glue or, or Elmer's glue. And when that glue dries, they're not going to uh, be able to move at all. Now this particular fish has four hooks on it, uh, but I made them with one hook or two hooks. Depends on the size of the fish and where you're going to mount it. Once that glue dries, uh, the fish is ready to be painted uh, or stained to match your decor. And here you can see a, a couple finished uh, pieces. Uh, this one I painted just to match uh, the beach cabana. But they look really good stained also. And this is the uh, the same piece mounted at the key, um, at the beach cabana door, just as a towel rack. A very simple, easy to make, do-it-yourself project. Probably you could do these in less than a half an hour if you have all the tools set up. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.